Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeremiah with Bullfrog Air Guns here today to talk about the Caldwell Ballistic Chronograph. Um, it's a really good purchase I made a couple weeks ago. I, in the in the beginning, I couldn't get it to work with my phone, so that was my big complaint about it. I was still able to use it here and pick up my feet per second, which on the side you can click feet per second, and then everybody else in the world can go meters per second. So. I was still getting my readout here, it just wasn't working with my phone, which was really frustrating because uh, the main feature on it that I liked was the app and being able to put the information in, whatnot, and uh, store and convert all of your shot strings and whatnot. So convert it to the foot pounds of energy from the FPS. So I wasn't able to use that, and then when I looked closer at the comments on the um, app reviews one of the people that was on there had an LG and he could not get it to work with his phone either so he came up with the solution for it and I will show you that in a second at the end of this video so anyways I did get it to work and now it's works great it's really cool so once I put in um, my caliber and the bullet type and the weight and all that stuff then I can save that as a template and then I can save my shot string separate. So anytime I come back and want another shot string on the same pellet out of a different gun or the same gun, whatnot, then I can just click on that template and start shooting rather than have to fill it all out again. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, it works really well. And I think anybody that's into air guns should have one or into any guns really in shooting. Um, works on archery, paintball guns, regular guns. You know, it goes up to, what, 6,000 feet per second, I think, is what it can read up to. So, all in all, this is a great purchase. Uh, you can buy it anywhere online, and uh, it's pretty affordable. So, I would highly suggest it and recommend it to anybody. It just makes shooting a lot more fun. You get to know your gun better, and you get to know the what works best in your gun also. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let me break this down on the phone for you to show you how to make it work with your Android. Uh, apparently, people with iOS, I haven't heard them having the same issue. It's made mainly people with the Android. So, um, anyways, this is how you fix it. Okay, so, take your phone, you go to your settings. Then what you're going to do is, you're going to go down to your apps. It's going to show you your apps. You're going to find the Caldwell. The Chronograph. Click on that. Come down to Permissions. Click on the Permissions. Okay, now all of these were denied. So I had manually had to click on Camera, Location, Microphone, Storage and allow the app to work with the phone. Once I did that, the app works perfectly. So that seems to be the solution to make the chronograph work with your phone if you have an Android. It may work with iOS as well. I'm not familiar with Apple. Um, I also have seen people with other, other chronographs saying that they cannot get those to work with their phone either. So it may be the same solution, not just for the Caldwell, but for other app-based uh, chronographs as well. Okay, so I hope that I was able to help somebody with that. Um, that is comment definitely helped me out to get this to work. So anyhow, everybody enjoy your shooting, enjoy your chronograph, and uh, I'll see you next time. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.